You probably know that Israel is a very small country, roughly the size of New Jersey, but it still has a lot of farmland and ranches. And many farmers say they struggle with theft and vandalism to the point that it's hard to survive. Agriculture is a crucial industry in the Jewish state, and one organization has come up with a plan to protect Israel's farmers. I'm here today with Wam Shmuli, who is a brigadier general in the Israeli Air Force and is also head of the board for Hashomer Hadash. But first, we have a clip to show you to help you understand why Israeli farmers need protection. עוד פעם הקילומטר שעמלתי עליו חודש שלם נחתך. בשבוע שעבר ביום חמישי בסביבות שש בערב, אני ישבתי, שמרתי על הבקר וראיתי את השטח נדלק בשתי נקודות שונות, ואחר כך ראיתי טרקטורון בורח מהשטח. השטח הזה שאתה רואה אותו פה, סופג בממוצע 20 הצתות בשנה מינימום. בשעה וחצי לא נשאר לי שטח, לא נשאר לי אוכל לפרות. זאת אומרת שהייתי צריך לקנות בעשרות אלפי שקלים. זה החזיר אותי עשר שנים אחורה. אתה מתיישב על הארץ, אתה אומר, מה אני עכשיו אמור לעשות? מה אני אעשה? כבר הבנתי שלשרוד פה אני לא יכול. הרמתי ידיים. So um, thank you again for coming in today. So after hearing these clips of people saying what their problems are, can you tell me a little bit more about what your organization does? First of all, Denise, I would like to send a quickly recovery for all the wounded in the last uh, terrorist attack. Of course. Since I have uh, two sons in the military, I know that uh, the Tzal and the IDF is going to do the best they can in order to protect the people of Israel and also the tourists. Very important. Okay. Uh, what we do is very simple. We safeguard the land of Israel uh, through uh, uh, social activities, and education. It always go together. You have to know why you are here on one hand and to be in the ground and to help the farmers. And I, as a farmer, I know how much is important not to keep, not to leave those people along by themselves uh, when people come and try to destroy their growth, their cattle and their livestock. Absolutely. Now, I understand you're a former pilot in the Israeli Air Force. You obviously spent a lot of time in the air protecting Israel, and how does it feel now to have your focus be on the ground and protecting Israel from a ground standpoint? I fly a jet airplane in the last 37 years. I flew 6,000 hours. I wow. flew all over the Middle East with no visa or permission. But for me, it's very natural. Since I was born as a farmer, I am still farmer, active farmer. And to protect the air superiority is important for protecting the state of Israel. But if you don't have a place to land, it's useless to have a good uh, F-16 and F-15s. Absolutely. So for me, it was very natural. If I spent 30 years protecting the state of Israel from the air, I have to keep on protecting the next 30 years, protecting it from the ground. And I think that Hashomer HaChadash, which is a kind of a social educational movement, it's actually the new Zionism. And we uh, motivate and mobilize thousands of volunteers, mostly youth, and elderly people, all of them come and spend time in the open area, help the farmers and actually educate themselves. My grandfather was a pioneer back in 1920s and he came from Europe and he doesn't know, he didn't know anything about agriculture. So he took three years to educate himself to become once again, after 2000 years, an agriculture and a farmer. So actually this is what we do. Wow. And actually I come, I'm coming now from the Negev with the high school, the new high school that we have for Shomer HaChadash. And those, uh, this high school, they study for uh, two hours in the afternoon, but in the morning they are working in the farm. And they educate themselves through working. So in a sense, it's connecting to the roots, connecting to the ground, and thinking about the continuity of the Jewish people. And we are taking our shift. And this is what we educate for. Fantastic. Now, I understand a lot of your work involves protecting farmland in the Negev and the Galilee region in particular. Why is help needed specifically in these areas? Mostly those are the places that uh, there are open areas, open space, and uh, most of the big farms located in the Negev and the Galilee. So this is the first priority. 
if someone uh, called for help, we can't ignore. We have to keep on Arvut Adadit, to come and be with him, to help him, to give him a night off so he can go to his family, and we are there. So we mobilize people from all variety of Israeli society, and this is what's important, uh, to, to make this kind of a movement uh, for all Israelis in order to protect the land and to be part of the story, the big story of the Jewish people and uh, Israel. And nowadays I'm happy to uh, announce that we have a program also for youth and the uh, young people the age of 16 up to 25 from America and the diaspora. So actually it's a new uh, program that uh, we called it Leovda Ule Shomra. In Hebrew this is what uh, God said to Adam when he gave him a, a paradise, he said, said him, Leovda Ule Shomra, work it and protect it. So we uh, invite young uh, people the age of 16 up to 25 to come and work with us in a Shomer HaChadash, in the farms, uh, educate, uh, work in the land, uh, studying together, and protect the land at night. So this is a new uh, program that the government of Israel supported, and we are now uh, published this program all over the U.S. Oh, fantastic. Now, for those who want to volunteer, want to get involved in this new program or any of your programs, how can they go about doing that? It's very easy. We have a, fa a very active Facebook and we have a website in English. So actually, deep in the website in English, Ashomer HaChadash, The New Guardian, and there you see all these uh, video clips and programs that we run. Uh, either you are young, uh, middle-aged or old, we have a program for you to be part. And if, if uh, old people listen to us uh, during this broad broadcast in America, you remember the old time when we went to a kibbutz in Israel in order to help the Israelis to, do, to cultivate the land? We renew it now. We have a program for you. You can come and help us to be part of Hashomer HaChadash, to be part of this new movement. And I tell you, it's connect directly to what happened this uh, last night the terror, the terror attacks. We have to be strong. If you think about the national security of Israel, so one pillar I know is the IDF. I spent there 35 years. Another pillar, of course, is strong economy. It's very easy. It's not very easy. It's very important. But the main pillar is the uh, social uh, unity and actually the Arvut Adadit among ourselves. So we educate ourselves uh, using the land as the way to educate and deep in the uh, deep our studying in Judaism, Zionism, and the Middle Eastern studies in order to be part of the big story of the rebuild of the state of Israel. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It sounds like you have so much to say. We might have to invite you back again sometime to hear even more about it. So thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, we are waiting for you in Ashomer HaChadash. <laughs> Definitely, thank you.